Hey everyone, in this video, you will learn how to move a text along any vector shape or any vector path with Artboard Studio. Let's get started. Going to the left toolbar and choosing the pen tool to create my vector shape. You can also import any vector shapes from any other tool as SVG. Now going to the text on path tool, clicking on the shape. Now double clicking and changing the text. Increasing the font size changing the font family to inter maybe then aligning to the center choosing a bolder typeface and lastly applying white color for this text layer now it's time to create the animation opening my timeline editor and clicking start animation button to enable the animation mode going to right sidebar and opening the text options menu from here Moving this little pop-up. Creating the first keyframe for pad offset. Then changing my time to 2 seconds. Creating my second keyframe by adding any value you like. Just trying to match the first position and the last position to create a loop effect. Now I have my animation with two keyframes for pad offset option. Now stopping the animation mode enabling the loop and playing the animation. Selecting the animated layer and going to the right sidebar easing options here and choosing back easing option. You can always change the easing options later. For getting a slower animation, I'm just moving the keyframe to the right side to get more duration between two keyframes. Closing the text options pop up here and I want another copy with the same animation. Just creating a copy and double clicking, changing the text to something else. So now I have two different animated text layer with the same keyframe and easing options and with the same timing. But I want one of them to animate reversed. So choosing the first animate text layer and changing the positions of the keyframes to get a reversed animation from right to left instead of left to right. Now you see the first text goes from left to right, the other one goes from right to left. Choosing both animated layers to change the easing options again. As I mentioned before, the easing options are all experimental. You can create your own custom easing from the curves here, or you can choose a preset. It's all up to you to choose the best one working for you. And you can always change the keyframe positions to experience different uh, speeds for the animated objects on your canvas. For example, I'm just making one of them faster, the other one slower. So it's all optional and it's all up to you. But for this design, I think the equal timing is the best option. Okay, now you can always resize, stylize those animated layers because my start animating mode is closed i don't i'm not creating keyframes for those changes so i just see the design changes instantly while they are animating on my canvas selecting two layers now and i can easily change the sizing scale up or down as i like if i press shift it's scaling up or down proportionally so just scaling up these two animated layers and as you see there's no keyframes because my animation mode is closed so choosing these two layers, scaling down and moving to the left side of the artboard. Now I want to create another shape to apply hex on path. Going to the left toolbar and choosing the ellipse tool. Creating an ellipse and again going to the text on path tool and clicking on the ellipse shape. It instantly placed the random text for me. Just double clicking and changing, changing the text context. And later on, you can change the font size or font family as you wish. For this case, I'm again using the inter font. And if I go to the right sidebar text options menu again, you also see the pet side function, which defines the rotation or the direction of the text. So you also have uppercase or lowercase options here. And still, you can change the path offset with entering the values. And if you had keyframes, you're going to get the animation. So now you can still change the font family, the font alignment and options like that. So this is how Artboard Studio text on path feature works. 
you can literally apply the text on path function to any type of vector shapes like rectangles or any arc or any hat and also all of those uh, text warping options has the path side option or the path offset options available inside text options menu on the right sidebar when you select the text layer yeah that's it this is how we create text animation on a vector pad with artboard studio if you have any questions just let us know in the comment section below and also you're gonna find the link below directly going to this project which you can experience yourself how to create a text along a pad animation with artboard studio take care bye